Teste 1, um, 2, testando o som. Chegou? Chegou? Está me ouvindo bem? 1, 2, 3, teste, som. 1, 2, 1, 2, teste. Teste, som. 1, 2. Me ouvi bem, Albi? Um, dois, teste, som, testando, testando o som, um, dois, teste, som, eu estou me ouvindo.
Testing. Please take your seats. First, we would like to reiterate some protocols information. Wear your mask correctly, covering your mouth and nose. Sanitize your hands with hand sanitizer or water and soap. Maintain distancy. Avoid crowds and practice social distancing. Stay alert. If you show any symptoms, contact the organizing committee, please. We are going to start in a couple of minutes. Good morning, bom dia. Authorities, esteemed delegates from different countries and distinguished guests. Welcome to the 71st International Veterinary Students Association Congress. On behalf of the directory of the School of Veterinary Medicine and Animal Science, known as FMVZ, the IVSA and the organizing committee, we wish each of you a pleasant and fruitful stay during our time in Brazil. We are very glad that this year we are joined by over 100 participants from various parts of the globe. Thank you for coming. 
Over the next few days, the 71st IVSA Congress will provide you a plenty of opportunities to discuss policies and procedures, share knowledge and insights about veterinary medicine, and we make it possible for you to know the FMVZ, the University of Sao Paulo, and a little bit of our culture. First and foremost, we would like to highlight the presence of the following authorities who you would like to invite to the stage to join us. Professor Denise Tabak Fantoni, Vice Dean of the FMVZ. Anna Chetikevit, President of IVSA. Arthur Kobayashi Guerra, President of IVSA Brazil. And Gabriel de Assis Duarte, President of the Organizing Committee of the 71st IVSA Congress. Thank you. Now we invite uh, the Professor Denise Tabak Fantoni for the welcoming remarks. Professor Fantoni, the floor is yours. Esteemed delegates from different countries and distinguished guests, welcome to our university, welcome to Brazil. We are very glad to host the VSA Congress this year. Our University of Sao Paulo, or USP, has been ranking at the top of the best in Latin America in the last years, and specifically in the veterinary medicine subject, is ranked as one of the best of the world. Our FMVZ is a centenary school, known for quality and tradition, as you will be able to see, all the program of this Congress will follow the same path. We will provide you debates, information, and visits of high quality. We hope you enjoyed your time here with us, and that at the end of this Congress, you take with you good memories and many lessons learned from us and from Brazil. Thank you very much. Thank you, Professor. Now, we would like to invite to the stage, here to speak, Anna Chetikivets. Bom dia. Good morning. Uh, hello, everyone, all delegates uh, and all the guests. Uh, welcome to the 71st IVSA Congress in Sao Paulo. So it is with a great, great pleasure that I welcome you on behalf of IVSA. It makes me extremely happy to see all of you. Over 100 delegates from all over the world, from all our beautiful regions gathered together here in Brazil after two and a half very challenging years of lockdowns and global pandemic when we couldn't see each other in person. It is amazing to finally be able to reunite and meet the people that are so dear to our hearts that we have uh, worked with together for months, but we know them only from computer screens. So I'm very touched to see all my EXCO members present together here in person. Not even one is missing. Uh, I'm really happy to see all the officials and all my friends that I missed so much. And I'm really excited to meet all the new IVSA members that are joining our event for the first time. I'm also touched to see all the uh, DED travel grant winners that are making this event even more diverse than ever. And a huge shout out for our DED for starting these initiatives uh, and making uh, so many dreams come true. So I see here, I see change makers, I see leaders and amazing future veterinarians. People that are so different, but yet so similar, connected by our love to IVSA and by the same goal to improve veterinary profession. And so this event is very special to IVSA and to me personally as well uh, for several reasons. Firstly, it's a first in a very long while IVSA global event in Latin America. It makes me extremely happy to see IVSA regions thriving and IVSA officials and the regional teams going above and beyond to advocate for diversity, inclusivity and equity in IVSA. 
and this event being the results of those wonderful advocacy efforts. Moreover, I would like to express here my appreciation and a big thank you uh, for the Faculty of Veterinary Medicine uh, here in Sao Paulo for the invitation. Thank you very much. And also to the OC and to IVC Brazil uh, for all your hard work, uh, for sleepless nights, uh, for endless meetings, and to love for the love of uh, to IVC members that can be seen in all the details of this event possible. Thank you so much. <laughs> So also, I would like to express my gratitude to all my IBSA officials for the months of hard work uh, to run this beautiful organization, for your resilience in overcoming all the challenges, and also for all the motivation to make a difference in the veterinary profession. And so last but not least, I would like to encourage all of you delegates to make the most of this event, to network, to discover how much we can actually learn from each other and how inspiring IBSA people can be Speak up during the General Assembly, ask questions, share facts about your culture, your country, and discover new approach to veterinary medicine. This is you who make this event an eye-opening experience. Please keep that in mind. So, however, sometimes we are drawing here in deadlines, we are crazy with all the projects, everything is getting sometimes very hard. Uh, take a minute um, to realize that IV is not a race, it's a journey. Uh, and I would like you to join me today on this journey. Enjoy the IVSA event in Sao Paulo. So thank you very much. And also I would like you to now take a minute to listen to all the wonderful follow-up speeches that will come on me, especially speeches of our partners, professional veterinary organizations that are working hand in hand in IVSA. They are watching us every step of the way uh, and they are waiting for us to graduate and take over their positions as leaders in veterinary profession but also they are extremely inspired here and now by work of IBSA, by your work, and this will be also expressed in their videos. So thank you so much and looking forward to meeting you at the event. Thank you. Thank you, Anna. Now, we would like to invite Arthur Kobayashi Guerra, president of the IBSA Brazil, for his speech. Dear delegates, partners, and professors, good morning. Um, as president of IBSA Brazil, uh, this moment represents an important achievement. In less than two years, of the existence, uh, the proactivity and determination of our members enabled uh, the international pro uh, projection of IVSA Brazil, as well as our uh, personal, academic, and professional improvement. Uh, despite the pandemic, the pandemic times, with numerous online meetings and challenges of developing an event like this, today, um, our efforts are being paid out as, as we open the 71st IVSA Congress. It's a privilege and honor to host uh, this, this event with such cultural interactions um, and getting to know, learning and admiring the, the, culture, the culture of others is valuable and essential, essential uh, for the development of future veterinarians. And therefore, Today we open our home, the University of Sao Paulo, to welcome you as members of the IVSA family. And we want to you to experience uh, our university and the city of Sao Paulo, and to live the plural, 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 sorry, pluralities uh, of our culture. We are here to welcome you in the warmest and most Brazilian way. And thank you very much for your attention and great congress to all. Thank you, Arthur. Now, to conclude, we invite Gabriel de Assis Duarte, president of the organizing committee of the 71st IVSA Congress, for the final remarks. The floor is yours. Good morning to all. Um, dear delegates, esteemed partners and honorable professors. 
It is with great pleasure that I invite everyone, every single one of you to join the 71st AVSA Congress in Brazil. I could start the speech with, I had a dream. But the truth is, if it was only uh, one, if, it was, if I was the only one behind this dream, this that is now becoming reality, we definitely wouldn't be here today. The integrity of this event was based on a lot of hard work and dedication, not only from me, not only from the fellow members of the organizing committee, but also from the professors and uh, from the professors that supported us and from the university staff that saw on this project an opportunity to show to every single one of you how amazing this university is. And believe me, I can confirm by personal experience. I've been here for the past seven years, I know it's a lot, uh, crying, laughing, studying, and also partying. This place was responsible for the best moments of my life, since the moment I got the news that I was accepted to join vet school. Starting today, I welcome you to the city that welcomed me back in 2015. I hope you all have as many good memories of this university and of your time here as I have as a former student. Brazil is a huge country, as you might know. We have multiple faces and multiple stories running through our veins. And there's no better example about it than the city of Sao Paulo. During this event, we'll be having multiple moments of general assembly to discuss policies and to think about the future of our association. We'll also have multiple lectures about different topics related to veterinary medicine. But that's not all. We also made sure to include enough cultural parts in our program so you could truly experience what Brazil and what Sao Paulo are. When planning this speech, it came to my mind a sentence that is very symbolic for this university. In the universe of culture, the center is everywhere. This sentence that I've been hearing and seeing since I got to this university calls for a deeper under understanding. Not only culture is present everywhere. Once every country, every city, and every community has its own culture. But, both, but culture is present anywhere, meaning that it's present in every little bits and pieces that are part of our common life. It is with great honor that we host the first live event since the pandemic started. We know how excited all of you are to meet each other again and to make new friends. We're also excited to host you. It is, it is extremely meaningful for us to have you here, to be able to receive students from over 30 countries from different parts of the world. Each one of us brings different aspects to collaborate with this event. Not only it is the first event since the pandemic started, but it is, it is also the first Congress to happen in Latin America, preceded by the special General Assembly that happened in Mexico in February. <laughs> we hope you can feel the Latino welcomeness and that we're able to honor the high standards set by the past IVSA events. We also hope to bring our own perspectives to it and to set the path for the upcoming IVSA events. And for this beautiful event, we choose the theme, all working as one, overcoming difficulties with perseverance. This theme was chosen to remind us that working on our own, we can be good, but only working together, we can be great. When we work together and collectively focus on one specific goal, that's when we overcome anything. These past years have been challenging for all of us in different ways. We've been trying to take care of our own health and of our families. And at the same time, we've been seeing COVID cases increasing. As future veterinarians, it is our responsibility to be active in this fight against the pandemic. As we know, veterinarians do not only play an important role on animal health, 
but also play a decisive part in public health in its integrity. We'll be discussing not only topics related to that role, but also some other important topics during the Congress. And we hope that you're able to learn about most diverse areas of veterinary medicine. We wish that once you leave the Congress, you can see in yourself, even in the slightest, a change for the better, an improvement of knowledge and an improvement as a person. As I said, this event was only possible because it was a dream that was dreamt not only by one person, but by a group. And as for now, any and every single one of you is part of this dream as well. So take this event as an opportunity to grow, to learn, and to feel. Open up your hearts and minds to breathe what this university has to offer. Live this following 10 days as intensely as you can. Explore it, sense it, and live it. Thank you. Thank you so much, Gabriel. Accordingly with the program of the Congress, today you will visit the FMVZ. Due that, we would like to welcome, to welcome you to our school with some previous information. Therefore, we are glad to invite to the stage the coordinator of the International Affairs Committee, Professor Denise Sarita Schwartz, for a presentation. Please, Professor. Good morning, everyone. It's a pleasure to be here. I'm very honored for the opportunity to be here to present our vet school in this important event, the 71st uh, IVCA, IVSA Congress, hosted by IVSA Sao Paulo, Brazil. Uh, the School of Veterinary Medicine and Animal Science has already celebrated its centennial in 2019. The vet school was established in 1919, before the University of Sao Paulo existed. University of Sao Paulo was established uh, in uh, 1934 and with, with other seven schools uh, that joined to form the university, uh, the vet school was, was there. The, towards this time, you, uh, the vet school has been changing towards uh, getting better and better. And I think this will be forever. The University of Sao Paulo is a higher education public institution supported by the state of Sao Paulo government. It is the largest higher education and research institute in Latin America. Uh, and the university is rank ranked among 50 world best universities according to QS World University Rankings. Uh, the university is located in southeast Brazil. So, oh, it doesn't have the, the pointer. So, southeast Brazil is the light blue region, and Sao Paulo is in that, uh, in that region. Uh, and has eight campuses that... Uh, with a total area of two, 249,000 km, uh, square kilometers, uh, over 93,000 students in 10 campuses in eight cities complying 48 schools and institutes. Over 6,000 faculty members, 87% that are uh, work full time at the university. Uh, the university has about 44 libraries with 
over 7 million titles, four museums, one million visitors per year, two university hospital complexes, and two veterinary hospitals, sports centers, and several university restaurants. The School of Veterinary Medicine and Animal Science uh, has two campuses. Campus of Sao Paulo includes many teaching and research facilities and the Veterinary Teaching Hospital, uh, which uh, has recently uh, aggregated a public veterinary hospital uh, as well. Campus of Pirasununga includes research labs, teaching research facilities that are equipped for animal husbandry, animal reproduction, and feed technology studies. Uh, Pirasununga uh, is, uh, is 220 kilometers from Sao Paulo. It's about two hours drive. Uh, we have at the vet school approximately 1,000 students, including the vet, the vet students, undergraduate, and the graduate students, master and doctorate um, candidates. 92 faculty members, veterinary medicine, we, we teach veterinary medicine course only, and 14 graduate stricto sensus courses uh, and masters and PhD distributed among the seven Lato Senso courses that are the programs. Uh, we have different research centers, residence programs in veterinary medicine, in small animal and large animal, and also a large number of scientific production in renowned national and international journals. Uh, campus of Sao Paulo and campus of Pirasununga. Uh, we have six departments. That's the Department of Surgery, Internal Medicine, uh, Preventive Veterinary Medicine and Animal Health, Department of Pathology, uh, Animal Reproduction, and the Department of Nutrition and Animal Production. Pirasununga campus has about 2,200 hectares, 200 bedrooms that are the student dormitories uh, there. We don't have dormitories uh, in Sao Paulo. The students spend one semester in Pirasununga for uh, studies uh, in uh, production and nutrition. So in the, uh, in the farm, we have about 400 beef cattle one, 120 dairy cows, an average uh, that produce an average of 32 liters of milk, uh, 35,000 poultries, 100 swines, and 65 horses. The veterinary medicine course uh, is um, it, it uh, complies 10 semesters. That is five years full time. 80 students per year selected through FUVETI to levels test or uh, CISU, that is the unified uh, test for, uh, for entrance in university. Role of activities seeking, uh, seeking rational exploration and production, protection and restoration of animal health according to professional and ethical pr uh, principles with the purpose of social welfare. Uh, the Veterinary Teaching Hospital is the largest in Latin America, about seeing uh, about 33,000 cases per year, including assistance to small and large animals, as well as ornamental birds and wild animals. You are going to see the hospital uh, in the afternoon, as I believe. Veterinary teaching hospital services. We have uh, um, a variety of services. Uh, small animal internal medicine, small animal emergency care, cardiology, dermatology, clinical pathology lab, 
small animal surgery, anesthesiology, ophthalmology, diagnostic, imaging, uh, and small animal nutrition. Uh, besides that, obstetrics and gynecology, intensive monitoring, or the ICU, that is still growing, large animal surgery, bovine and small ruminants, man medicine, equine internal medicine, artificial insemination and animal reproduction, nutritional and metabolic disease lab, horm uh, hormone assessment lab, animal pathology, and avian care. So it's a big hospital. The veterinary teaching hospital um, provides also offers a residence program. Uh, here we have just a few of the, um, the possibilities of, um, of residency, but it's basically small animal internal medicine surgery. There is a possibility of doing the third year in cardiology, dermatology, and internal medicine, anesthesiology, and other uh, specialties now. Uh, large animal internal medicine and surgery, ruminants, three, uh, there are three uh, residents per year, and equine, four residents uh, in the first year and one in the second year. And that, uh, anatomy, anatomic pathology, uh, also, and preventive veterinary medicine. Uh, we recent, as I uh, already mentioned, we recent uh, opened a public veterinary hospital uh, of the city of Sao Paulo. The, we have a library that is that has more than 140,000 books and scientific journals from different countries, besides, of course, the virtual library. Uh, there is a very nice museum of veterinary anatomy uh, with uh, exhibits with more than 1,000 pieces restored and collected by faculty, staff, and students. It's, it's amazing. You have to see it. Uh, and about the international committee, we have a like, uh, possibility for the veterinary students that are supervised ex externships. Uh, in the fifth year, the vet students uh, go in the 10th semester. They can uh, also um, do it internationally. But besides that, extracurricular externships uh, during the, the vet school. And for the graduate students, uh, there is possibility of uh, sandwich scholarships by CAPIS, the, uh, the governmental uh, foundation for research developing students uh, exchange, that is the mobility, the vet students and graduate students special programs. And um, we also, we had uh, over 60 academic and research agreements and many other are under negotiation. Over 400 international students were received in the last uh, six years. Over 50 students were sent for internships or to take courses in international uh, partner institutions. We uh, also have the participation of the students in the uh, Vet Friends program, uh, which um, helps gather uh, all the students and uh, give them explanation, show uh, the, not only the university, but also Sao Paulo uh, city and give support to the international students. And this is also a possibility of uh, getting some internationalization uh, experience without getting out of Brazil, if not possible. Uh, so it is a really nice program. Uh, we also have the joint and dual degree. Uh, there is one that is in negotiation with European universities for veterinary medicine dual degree, 
with Universidade do Porto, Portugal, uh, there was um, one established agreement for veterinary medicine dual degree with Universidad de Zaragoza, Spain, and established partnerships for graduate school joint degree. So that is for master or uh, PhD students with Universidad of Zaragoza, Agro Paris uh, Tech, Universidad de la Frontera, and University of Montreal and we are always seeking more partners. Uh, we also participate in the international rankings. So this is just an overview. And we had an increase in 2000, um, there is uh, a re 2020, 2000 and 2021, because of pandemics, we didn't have probably uh, so much internationalization uh, and it, it of, of course, it um, shadows the international rankings. Uh, in 2018, we got national accreditation from uh, the Council of uh, Veterinary Medicine, Federal Council of Veterinary Medicine, and we are now uh, seeking the probability, uh, the possibility of getting an international uh, accreditation as well. And that is a hard work to be done. And this, of course, is part of what the students are doing. Thank you so much. I... Before, before I, uh, I uh, leave, I would like to congratulate all the vet students for the effort and dedication uh, towards these new goals for changes to meet the world challenges and bring new opportunities for improvement uh, to the veterinary profession with more engagement, shared knowledge, international collaboration and diversity towards better evidence-based One Health practice. Thank you. Thank you, Professor Denise. To add all this information, now we are glad to invite to the stage the Professor Fabio Celidonio Pogliani for a presentation about the campus of FMVZ in the Pirasununga city. Please, Professor. Hello, everyone. Good morning. Bom dia, tudo bem? Beleza? You are so intimidating. Please smile, even with the mask. Please help me. Okay. Gabriel asked me to talk about a little about our campus in Pirasununga. You have to practice to say Pirasununga, but you get there somehow. Okay. As you may have uh, seen later, uh, we highlighted here we have our state of Sao Paulo, which uh, has approximately 645 cities. And one of the cities is Pirasununga, uh, where I live. So we, we, you are seeing the national flag. And as you can see, also highlighted, that star is uh, Alpha Crucis, and it belongs to our state. So this is, uh, is the flag of our state, and below we have the flag of our city, where you are now. So highlighted, you can see the city of Pirasununga, as Professor Schwartz told you. The city is about 210 kilometers. It's 10 kilometers uh, less than she told you, because I live 10 kilometers closer, of course and approximately two hours and a half uh, hours from here. It's a good trip in a nice road. So this is the national, the, sorry, the, the city flag of Pirasununga, 
where you can see the sugar cane, a fish, and coffee, which were the main economical activities of the city. But now we have uh, also other economical activities, not only this agricultural. And the fish that you are seeing there is a Corimbata fish, okay? And where the hell Pirasununga and Corimbata came from, what does it mean? Okay, Pirasununga, it comes from Tupi language. It's a language for, for, from our native Indian, indigenous people. And it means Pira is fish and Sunung is make noise. Okay, Pirasununga, so it means noisy fish. I can tell you a little more later if you want to know about this noisy fish means. It has nowadays approximately 75,000 habitants and is one of the uh, uh, good seats to live here with less than 100,000 habitants in the states of Sao Paulo. Okay, let's talk about the campus. The Fernando Costa campus uh, started in 1945, but as an agricultural school, not as a campus and not integrated with uh, our um, university. So in 1957, a kind of mayor of the city donated this uh, agricultural school to the university 65 years ago. And in 1989, this farm, which uh, belonged to our uh, vet school, was emancipated to a campus. It means 33 years old now. So this is uh, a picture of the main building at the campus. It's a sunny day. Even in the winter, we get normally 30 degrees at noon. So it's a cold place. And uh, below you have an, uh, an aerial view of the main city of the main building, sorry, which are the city hall of the campus, the dormitories and the restaurants, and even a, a small uh, lake with, uh, with fishes, you can feed them. And in numbers, it, this is the largest than the biggest campus from the university. It has approximately 2,030 hectares, uh, which means, which means uh, 23 million square meters. Uh, in this area, approximately one third is destined to ecological reserves. And also we have pasture areas and cultivated areas as well. And you can see here in this, in this aerial picture, the campus highlighted. And along with the campus below, you have the urban area of the city. So you can see how big the campus is. And the green areas is the ecological reserves. And we also have not only teaching, research, and economical activities selling the, the animal production, but also having hiking activities and bird watching and animal watching. We have uh, jaguars and alligators and a kind of native uh, Brazilian wolf, which we call Lobo Guará here, you can see there, and a lot of capybaras living among us is very normal to see them at the campus. This is the largest rodent of the world, just for your knowledge, what capybara is, is uh, impressive. Uh, actually, we have now uh, um, 1,700 undergrad students and for 400 grad students, which studies in master PhD and postdoc programs. Um, uh, according to the animal production, we have approximately 2, uh, 2,500 cattle, mainly beef, of course, but, so, but also we do have dairy cattle, uh, uh, 2,500 swines, 200 horses, and also we have poultry, water buffalo, sheep, goats, and rabbits as well. You can see here some pictures of these this, this animals at the campus. 
but uh, the animals are now being raised not only in cages, but also in free areas and pastures, as you can see in swines and rabbits, but we also have animals in free areas, not only in cages. This is the areas destined to, to, to hay and corn and other crops production. And for the animals that are not only in pasture, they have this total ration factor which feeds them. It's a huge area, as you can see in the picture. And also to support not only teaching and research activities, but, but also commercial activities, we have an other house and a dairy factory, which produces not only pasteurized milk, but also cheese and yogurt. It's uh, very delicious. You can buy them at the store. And we have two uh, water treatment stations to deal with the, the, the water issue that belongs to our concerns now. So that was a quick presentation. Hope you have enjoyed it. And thank you very much. And have a nice stay at our seat and even at Pirasununga if you want to go. It will be a pleasure for me to have you there. Thank you so much. Thank you, Professor Fabio. Now, we would like to invite the authorities to join the audience, please, because we are going to watch five different videos from different organizations of veterinary medicine and from Sao Paulo City as well. Uh, the following uh, messages that we are going to watch right now are one from the Dr. Rafael Legans, president of the World Veterinary Association, a message from the veterinarian Jose Arce, president of the American Veterinary Medical Association, Dr. Nancy De Bruin, executive director of the Federation of Veterinarians of Europe, Dr. Kwaza Nizamudin, president of the Federation of Asian Veterinary Association, and the last video is going to be from Sao Paulo Conventions and Visitors Bureau. Let's watch them. Dear Anna Chichkevich, President of the International Veterinary Students Association, dear delegates, dear friends and colleagues, as President of the World Veterinary Association, it is an honor and a pleasure to join the 71st IVSA Congress and General Assembly. Although I plan to be in person at the Congress from the 23rd onwards, I cannot be present with you during this opening ceremony. Still, at least, I am sending you this video to express the recognition and gratitude of the World Veterinary Association for the work done by IVSA and all the veterinary students around the world in these challenging times. The WVA is an organization that integrates veterinary associations on all continents and represents the veterinary profession all over the world. Our mission, our vision is to be recognized and respect as the trusted and influential voice of the global veteran medicine in the interest of improving animal health, animal welfare, public health, and the protection of environment for the good of humanity, animals, and the planet. And we do that through advocacy, education, and partnership. One specific objective of our WBA bylaws is to establish, promote, and maintain high standards for veterinary medical education. At the same time, the IBSA mission is to benefit the animals and people of the world by harnessing the potential and dedication of veterinary students to promote the international application of veterinary skills, education, and knowledge. 
when I compare the essential goals of our two organizations, I can only conclude that they are very similar, still at different stage of the profession. I will say focus on the essential phase of veteran education and training, and the WBA focus on the professional practice that certainly also needs continuous education and training in order to provide the society needs of good quality veterinary services. The WBA current strategy focus on four priority areas. One health, veterinary education, animal welfare, and pharmaceutical stewardship. And works in these areas through the efforts of the different committees and working groups, in which we want to have, as soon as possible, observer members proposed by IVSA, because the priorities of both associations have a high degree of convergence. As an example of our activity in the area of education, currently WBA is working together with the Council of International Veterinary Medical Education in a project of global quality standards for veterinary education to improve the quality of veterinary education around the world and to develop a self-assessment mechanism for veterinary schools in the region or, or countries without formal accreditation systems. I want to use this opportunity to warmly thank and congratulate the members of the IVSA who, made, who have made possible the development of the different projects that you have launched in recent years. These works have been very well received among students and all sectors of the profession. I would highlight those related with the student situation during the pandemic, such as the student experiences with online education and related challenges, the impact of COVID-19 on the choice of veterinary career path by students and recent graduates, or the student mental health during the pandemic. But also, I want to underline the report of IVSA Task Force on Diversity, Equity, and Inclusivity about discrimination in the veterinary community, or the Mentor Mentee Program, or the different journals and toolkits. In summary, I want to show my recognition of the daily work of IVSA committees and alumni network. The WBA is willing to improve the collaboration with IVSA to contribute to making a reality the world all working as one, overcoming difficulties with perseverance. And please, let me conclude my message with a few words addressed to our Brazilian colleagues. Caro Gabriela Cis Duarte, Presidente da Comissão Organizadora deste 71º Congresso da Associação Internacional de Estudantes de Veterinária que se celebra em São Paulo. Muito obrigado a você e a toda a sua equipe organizadora deste Congresso, incluindo o corpo docente e administrativo da Faculdade de Medicina Veterinária e Zootecnia da Universidade de São Paulo, pelo trabalho realizado e por aproximar a riqueza cultural natural e humana desse maravilhoso país chamado Brasil aos colegas de outros países. Estou desejando poder estar pessoalmente com todos vocês para compartilhar ideias e curtir o programa que prepararam. Parabéns, porque sei que o Congresso será um sucesso. E é um abraço muito especial para todos os estudantes de Medicina Veterinária do Brasil e, em geral, a toda a profissão brasileira. Aproveite no Congresso e muito obrigado pela sua atenção. Enjoy the Congress and thank you very much for your attention. American Veterinary Medical Association. Greetings on behalf of the AVMA and its more than 99,500 members. I am sad for not being able to join you for the first in-person IVSA Congress since the pandemic started, but I'm happy that you are able to reconnect, network, and meet with your peers in person after an extraordinary past couple of years. I want to thank you, President Anna Shishkevich and other members of the IVSA Executive Committee for inviting me to record this video greeting and for the outstanding leadership of the IVSA. 
I also want to extend a special welcome to all the IVSA delegates from around the world and give a shout out to Katarina Fielding, the Student AVMA International Exchange Officer and your USA voting delegate at this Congress. As I address you today, I'm inspired by the future, all the good things it holds, and all the great things you are going to bring to it. You are our future, and I encourage you to make that future your own and to leave your mark, because we all have a story to tell, a trail to blaze, and an impact to make. The experiences you are gaining and all that you are learning are setting you up for success. I congratulate you on your accomplishments thus far, and I'm excited about your future and your place in the global veterinary profession. The AVMA, through the efforts of our student initiatives team, and our collaborative work with our national student organization, SAVMA, is proud of the ongoing support it provides to our veterinary students throughout their veterinary school journey and beyond. In this increasingly shrinking global community, the borders that separate us are simply lines on a map. We share common diseases. We face common concerns about issues such as antimicrobial resistance and food safety and security. We have mutual interests in animal welfare. We share a desire to ensure the well-being of our veterinary teams, and we all have pledged to use our scientific knowledge and skills for the benefit of society. And so, it is important that we continue building relationships with veterinary students and other veterinary stakeholders from around the world. Doing so will give us a larger voice so we can more effectively advocate around the globe for the importance of veterinary medicine to society which will enhance animal, human, and environmental health. One of the ways we are strengthening the AVMA Global's engagement is through the work of our Committee on International Veterinary Affairs, or SIVA. We study issues of interest to the AVMA regarding international veterinary affairs and add structure to our international activities. And in an effort to build a closer relationship with the IVSA, I am pleased to share that the AVMA board last week approve a recommendation to invite a representative from the IVSA to participate in our SIVA meetings. This will allow us, the IVSA, to learn more about the AVMA's global outreach initiatives and for our leadership to better understand the IVSA's role in global veterinary education and student initiatives. We are thrilled about this development and look forward to what the future brings. These are exciting times in veterinary medicine and so much innovation is on the horizon. Innovation that you can be a part of. Our profession is full of opportunities and boundless rewards through multiple career paths. I believe that our future is very, very bright and I encourage you to make the most of your veterinary school experience, get involved and continue making a difference. There is no one like you. You all have something unique to offer. And while many students have preceded you, None of them is quite like you. Thank you for being here today. We are delighted that your incoming president, Yuri Victor Calvo, will be joining us at our upcoming AVMA convention in Philadelphia next week. And we look forward to welcoming him and the IVSA as a whole. I look forward to addressing your General Assembly later today, and I wish you continued success in your studies. Thank you. Dear members of IVASA, dear future veterinarians, hola, hello from Europe. Thank you very much for the invitation to join you and to bring you welcoming words on behalf of the Federation of Veterinarians of Europe. Uh, I would have loved to come in real person and meet you all for a, for a beer, but unfortunately that's not possible due to the time and the location. My name is Nancy de Brienne. I'm the executive director of the Federation of Veterinarians of Europe. And for those of you who don't know FE, um, we are the umbrella organization for all national veterinary organizations in Europe. So in total, we represent around 300,000 veterinarians in Europe. Most people, if they think about veterinarians, they think about veterinary practitioners. But we all know we work in many more fields. Our profession is and has become and is every day becoming more a multidisciplinary and a multisectorial profession. Veterinarians work in meat inspection, in teaching, 
in making and implementing legislation, in treating animals, of course, and in much, much, much more fields. Um, at this moment, we also have in most countries a problem with veterinary shortages. So when you graduate, there will be plenty of jobs for you out. Um, the highest level of FE is our General Assembly. And we, our members, meet twice a year at our FE General Assembly. And the last one was in London in June this year. And we were also very grateful there to um, welcome your IVSA president, Anna. For FE, IVSA is an extremely important organization. Uh, and we work, therefore, also together on many issues with you. Uh, education, of course, because you have practical uh, experience and IVSA members are on our European Coordinating Committee for Veterinary Training. But we also work together on mental health and veterinary well-being, an issue that is important for both veterinary students as veterinarians who are working. We lose too many colleagues uh, due to mental health issues and we need to prevent burnouts and make the well-being of our colleagues better. We also, as FE, host internships uh, for IVSA members in our office. So we had already a lot of IVSA students uh, coming to join us for four to six months. And also, uh, we, we, do, we will this year, for the sixth time, um, give grants away, uh, scholarship grants of 2,500 US dollars for more than 60 uh, veterinary students from the third, fourth, or the fifth year uh, of European veterinary students. And the application for this grant will open very soon. So, improving animal well being. Uh, fighting antimicrobial resistance, um, improving our relationship with animals and people and the environment, making farming more sustainable, that we have many societal challenges before us and in which all of them veterinarians play a key role. And for you in the future, this will be your role also. So for sure, you will not get bored. Appreciate your sua congresso. Enjoy your congress. Enjoy being all together uh, in the beautiful San Paolo. And greetings again from Brussels. See you next time. Good day to all delegates who are attending the 71st International Veterinary Students Association Congress from the 17th to 27th of July. 2022, with the team all working as one, overcoming difficulties with perseverance. I applaud you for raising the awareness in the field of animal welfare, one health, veterinary education, soft skills, and mental health, as well as case study sessions by IBSA Alumni Network during this Congress. I wish to take this opportunity to thank Ms. Anna Sikovic the president of IVSA, for inviting me to talk to all the esteemed delegates in IVSA. It's indeed an honor and privilege uh, for me to do so. I've noticed that the IVSA has contributed very much in the field of veterinary science or medicine. I'm glad to note that IVSA chapters are present in 73 countries with 194 member associations and 38,529 members. Ladies and gentlemen, we in the Federation of Asian Veterinary Associations are very happy to engage with IVSA to uplift the veterinary profession and also be able to contribute to society regionally and globally. Over the years, power has grown bigger. Currently, there are 34 member associations two associate members and one affiliate member from the Asia Oceania region. Power with an outreach of more than 100,000 veterinarians play an active role to address challenges 
face by the profession. Ladies and gentlemen, we are happy to note that your colleague, Ms. Nidhi AK, the IVSA representative for Asia, has communicated with power to form a collaboration. We are indeed very happy to engage IVSA on this matter. For your kind information, the area of work which IVSA is involved is uh, namely animal welfare, one health, and veterinary education. I very much aligned with the work Fawa is carrying out through two important strategic plans. One is the Fawa strategic plan 2021 to 2025, and the other is Fawa strategy to tackle antimicrobial resistance 2021 to 2025. Hence, there are very many opportunities to work closely in these areas of concern. Your inputs and ideas from IVSA will contribute to a better reach to veterinary students in many countries. Ladies and gentlemen, we're excited with these developments and hope to contribute to the betterment of veterinarians and society at large. We are keen in engaging with you from time to time through webinars, meetings, whether physical or virtual, and emails. Towards this end, we'd like to invite IVSA members to attend the 21st. Power Congress, which will be held from the 11th to the 13th of November 2022 in the city of Fukuoka, Japan, with a team, One Health Approach from Asia. Hope some of the members can make it. Lastly, I wish you all the best in your general assembly as well as the Congress. May your good efforts bear impact the profession. Thank you very much. Have a wonderful day. What if a city could offer you everything? Offer you the most complete and professional events infrastructure in Latin America, while also offering the best of Brazil's rich cultural diversity. Welcome to Sao Paulo. The Southern Hemisphere's largest metropolis is not just a big city. Sao Paulo is the heartbeat of the Brazilian economy. It's headquarters of 63% of all multinational companies in Brazil, and almost half of all domestic trade fairs and event markets. Three major airports connect Sao Paulo to the largest cities in the world. It is the home to large international hotel chains, world-class healthcare services, and local cuisine that brims with flavor, tradition, and sophistication. And wherever you are, there is always something new and exciting to do. Each district has its own identity, style, and offers a unique experience. All of them offer full infrastructure to host your event, whatever the size or the sector. Faria Lima and Itain, one of the city's main business districts and a true tech hub. Villa Madalena, the city's most bohemian neighborhood, is also found here. Cool, artistic, and full of expression. This area has 28 hotels and over 5,000 hotel rooms. Ibirapuera and Moema. Here, quality of life and delicious flavors mix in a business atmosphere. Where the Ibirapuera Park is located, with all its beauty and museums. It's the place of art, fashion shows, and entertainment events. The region has 28 hotels and a convention center. Sao Paulo Expo. Bejini. Here, you will find a business atmosphere with modern architecture, impressive buildings, and big multinational company headquarters. The region has 25 hotels and two convention centers. Transamerica Expo Center, WTC event center. Paulista and Jardins. Well known for its financial and cultural relevance, Paulista Avenue is one of the city's most sophisticated areas, full of tourist attractions, museums, cinemas, restaurants, nightlife, and the largest concentration of hotels in the city. This area has 52 hotels and three convention centers. Rebosas Convention Center, Frecaneca Convention Center, Fe Comercio Event Center, North Downtown and East Region. This is the historic heart of the city where it all began. The scene of big shows, revolutions, and cultural expression. 
The region has 26 hotels and five convention centers. Expo Center Norte, Aindi, Promagino Event Center, Dental Surgeons Associations of Sao Paulo, Memorial da América Latina. Close to Sao Paulo is Viracopos International Airport in the neighboring town of Campinas. This is where is located the Royal Palm Hall, a modern convention center. Each one of these districts offers a complete experience for your group and event with comfort and safety. Sao Paulo is a big city in constant transformation, full of small universes, secrets, flavors, and of course, people who will welcome you with open arms. Sao Paulo, a city like no other. Come visit and be amazed. We extend our thanks to all the authorities that send this message to our event and to the Sao Paulo conventions and visitors behold. Now we would like to invite to the stage the Nat Natalia Lopes, the representative of the Royal Cana, one of the sponsors of this, this event for our presentation. Please, Natalia. Hello. Good morning, everyone. It's an honor, an honor to be here with you today and a pride to have Brazil hosting this meeting. At the Royal Canaan, we believe in the role and responsibility that the veterinarian has within the cats and dogs health ecosystem. And that's why we support students throughout their journey to support your development and your learning to reinforce the importance of the science-based medicine. Through the university's program, we are with students from the first year participating in their study groups and academic weeks, accompanying them to the residency and postgraduate programs. We have ambassadors who are a link between the industry and the university. All this so that you can increasingly build a better world for pets. I would like to thank and congratulate the organization for this initiative and this event, as well as the University of Sao Paulo for opening the doors to them. I hope you enjoy this meeting. Thank you. Thank you, Natalia. Coming up next, we are very glad to invite to the stage the extraordinary students from the School of Communications and Arts of the University of Sao Paulo for musical presentations. We are going to watch three different presentations. The first one from Karen Apuki Damasio. She's going to play for us Aquarela by Toquinho, Odeon by Ernesto Nazaré. Secondly, we are going to watch the presentation of Rafael Aparecido Soares, who is going to play for us Prelude PWV uh, 1006 by Johann Sebastian Bach, Prelude number two by Hitor Villa Lobos. And last, we are going to watch a presentation of Luigi Alberto Conselier Casagrande, Clara Martins Berbel, Gabriel Torinho Batista Santos, Léo de Figueiredo Costa e Matheus Moreira de Oliveira. They are going to play for us Água de Beber by Tom Jobim, Saudades fez um samba by João Gilberto, Flor de Lis by Djavan, Triste by Elis Regina e Tom Jobim, and Corcovado by Tom Jobim. Thank you so much for your presentation and welcome to our stage.
Thank you.
Also für die Öffentlichkeit. Deixa que meu samba sabe tudo sem você Não acredito que meu samba só dependa de você A dor é minha e nem doeu, a culpa é sua, o samba é meu Então não vamos mais brigar, saudade fez um samba em seu lugar Deixa que meu samba sabe tudo sem você Não acredito que meu samba só dependa de você A dor é minha e nem doeu, a culpa é sua, o samba é meu Então não vamos mais brigar, saudade fez um samba em seu lugar Deixa que meu samba sabe tudo sem você Não acredito que meu samba só dependa de você A dor é minha e nem doeu, a culpa é sua, samba é meu Então não vamos mais brigar, a saudade fez um samba em seu lugar Benzinho, saudade fez um samba em seu lugar
Triste é viver na solidão Na dor cruel de uma paixão Triste é saber que ninguém pode viver de ilusão Que nunca vai ser, nunca vai dar O sonhador tem que acordar tua beleza é um avião Demais para um pobre coração Que para pra te ver passar Só pra me maltratar Triste é viver na solidão Triste é viver na solidão Na dor cruel de uma paixão Triste é saber que ninguém pode viver São que nunca vai ser, nunca vai dar O sonhador tem que acordar Tua beleza é um avião Demais para um pobre coração Que para pra te ver passar Só pra me maltratar Triste é viver na solidão Eu quis amar mas tive medo E quis salvar meu coração Mas o amor sabe um segredo 
O medo pode matar o seu coração Água de bebê, água de bebê, camará Água de bebê, água de bebê, camará eu nunca fiz coisa tão certa Entrei pra escola do perdão A minha casa, a vida aberta Abri todas as portas do coração Água de bebê, água de bebê, camará Água de bebê Água de bebê, camará Água de bebê Água de bebê, camará Um cantinho, um violão este amor, uma canção Pra fazer feliz a quem se ama Muita calma pra pensar E ter tempo pra sonhar Da janela ver se o corcovado redentor Que lindo! Quero a vida sempre assim Com você perto de mim Até o apagar da velha chama E eu que era triste Descrente desse mundo Ao encontrar você eu conheci O que é felicidade, meu amor
Este amor uma canção Pra fazer feliz a quem se ama Muita calma pra pensar E ter tempo pra sonhar Da janela ver se o corcovado Redentor, que lindo Quero a vida sempre assim com você perto de mim Até o apagar da velha chama E eu que era triste Descrente desse mundo Ao encontrar você Eu conheci O que é Felicidade, meu amor Valem-me, Deus, é o fim do nosso amor Perdoa, por favor Eu sei que o eu aconteceu Mas não sei o que fez Tudo muda de vez Onde foi que eu errei? Eu só sei que amei, que amei, que amei, que amei Será talvez que minha ilusão foi dar meu coração Com toda a força pra essa moça me fazer feliz e o destino não quis me ver como raiz de uma flor de lis. E foi assim que eu vi nosso amor na poeira, poeira. Morto na beleza fria de Maria e o meu jardim da vida ressecou, morreu. Do pé que brotou Maria, nem Margarida nasceu. E o meu jardim da vida ressecou, morreu. Do pé que brotou Maria, nem Margarida nasceu. Valem-me, Deus, é o fim do nosso amor. Perdoa, por favor, eu sei que o eu aconteceu, mas não sei o que fez, tudo muda de vez, onde foi que eu errei? Eu só sei que amei, que amei, que amei, que amei, será talvez que minha ilusão foi dar meu coração com toda a força pra essa moça me fazer feliz. E o destino não quis me ver como raiz de uma flor de lis. E foi assim que eu vi nosso amor na poeira, poeira. Morto na beleza fria de Maria E o meu jardim da vida Ressecou, morreu Do pé que brotou Maria Nem Margarida nasceu E o meu jardim da vida Ressecou, morreu Do pé que brotou Maria nem Margarida nasceu, e o meu jardim da vida 
Well, we would like to reiterate our thanks to the students of the School of Communication and Arts for this amazing presentation. Well, do, do two stick notes. Uh, we will have a short break right now to organize yourselves to the tour at the FNVZ. But first, we invite you all uh, to know a little bit more about our sponsors that are exposing at the lobby, okay? Concluding, thank you for your participation today, and we do hope you have a productive and fulfilling week ahead. Thank you very much for coming. Thank you.